Hey guys, welcome back to Aprons On. It's a Friday afternoon in South Dakota. And I don't know how traditional you are, but Friday was always sort of a fish day, at, at least in England growing up. So I thought I'd make a nice poached salmon, which is something that my family absolutely loves. When I was growing up in England, the only salmon that we had came in a can, to be honest, because it was really expensive. But this is getting really affordable. This is a little over a two and a half pound um, salmon fillet, fillet, however you want to call it. Um, and it was just under $20 at the big W, if you know what I'm saying. Which, if you think about it, if you take the family out for a pizza, you're not going to get any change out of 20 bucks anyway. And we can f have two really nice meals, the three of us, off of this. So I'm going to poach it because I know if you've never cooked fish before, it can be a bit daunting. The tendency is to overcook it and then it gets dry. But if you're poaching, of course, it's in water. And so you remove a lot of that, that risk of it drying out away. So that's what we're going to do. And it is absolutely dead simple. Over here on the stove, I'm warming up. This is just a roasting pan that I would normally do a roast chicken or a roast turkey in. So I'm just bringing this up to a boil, but we're not going to keep it at a boil. Um, so while that's warming up, I'll tell you what other ingredients I've got here. I've got some salt. We're not going to use all that, obviously. Um, I've got two teaspoons of whole peppercorns. I suppose you could use cracked pepper, coarse ground black pepper, if you don't have whole peppercorns. I've got some dill, fresh dill. You can pick this up at the at your big box supermarket as well. I got a bit of parsley that was left over that has seen better days, but all we're doing is adding flavor with these ingredients. I got a small onion that has been cut in half and sliced and three lemons. That's it. These essentially, you, you could call these aromats. They're the aromatics that are going to add flavor to the water that we're poaching in. So that's it really. I'll wait till this water comes up just to a boil and uh, we'll get the fish in. So we're not looking for a rolling boil. It's just starting. You see the bubbles just starting to lift off of the bottom. It's almost there. So I just want to slice through these lemons. So let's get our lemons in. Careful not to splash yourself. Our dill. You don't need to cut any of this up. Parsley. Our peppercorns our onion and a really good pinch of salt. Now I use kosher salt for all of my cooking for the main reason it's much easier to pinch. Kosher salt also doesn't have the anti-caking agents in it. Let's just give this a bit of a stir and it smells lovely this already. So we're not cooking this this is just to get the flavors out. Then the next thing you do is just lay your salmon fillet into the poaching liquid. It just needs to cover, cover the fish. Put some of your herbs, onions on the top so that fish absorbs that lovely flavor. Now you'll see it's starting to boil and we don't really need that. So we can turn it down. If it boiled too vigorously, it would um, risk breaking up the fish. So that's it. It's, I told you it was really simple. So you're just going to let that sit in there. And if you want to use um, an instant read thermometer, you're looking for an internal temperature of about 145, something like that. I should have mentioned earlier, one of the other pluses of poaching your fish this way is you don't have to mess with descaling it or pulling the skin off. The skin is actually going to help keep this fish together as we're cooking it. So we're 16 minutes into the cooking process and we're at just under 136 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I can switch that for you. That's 58 Celsius. And we can go ahead and pull that now and flip it over and take the skin off because it will keep cooking for a while anyway. Now when you pick this up, pick this up from what would be the back 
of the fish, not the belly, because that there, the fillet, is a lot thinner, and it won't be as stable. And just gently lift it on like that, and then flip it over. All right, that's had a couple of minutes just to cool. All you need to take the skin off is a spatula, and you'll see it'll just just slides right off. And you're not having to descale anything. There you go. Now we're going to put that whole thing onto a platter. I've garnished it with a, some of the lemons out of the poaching liquid, some fresh dill. Just looks a little nicer than the cooked because it goes all flat. A few of those peppercorns on the top there. Absolutely delicious and so simple to make. So there you are, folks. One poached fillet of salmon. If you've liked the video, you know the routine. Give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Tell your friends. But above all, pick one of these up at the supermarket. Take it home and give it a try. Now you can serve this straight at the table, warm. Now I'm going to serve this with some pretty classic asparagus and hollandaise. Or you can let it chill and pop it in the fridge and have it the next day with a salad. From start to finish, this took us 30 minutes. All right, that's it from me on this episode. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Cheers.